Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna be working on my 2000 Nissan Xterra. Uh, and I've had a sticking throttle at, uh, at idle. It goes, it stays at like 2000 RPMs and it won't go down and, and uh, I think it's a sticky throttle. It's probably dirty, I've never cleaned it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that on a generation one Nissan Xterra when I come back. things we got to loosen up on this obviously the one that goes right here we have to loosen up uh, we're gonna be taking that one off we're also gonna loosen this one up right here this goes to that secondary little air box uh, loosen it until it starts to be moving around on you like that all right and then the next the next ones we're gonna loosen up are these and I can't remember if the ones here are the ones I take off or the ones here. I'm gonna try these. We're also gonna be taking the mass airflow sensor loose. It's right over here off camera. I'll show you in a second. Now let's go ahead and take these off. They tend to be a little stuck on there. I might need a new air, bo or air uh, boot, intake boot. Ugh, these are these are on there good. All right, there's one. Come on off of there. There you go. Oh, and I got one more here. You take that one loose too. That way we don't have to take the mass airflow sensor. Loose. All right, that's good and loose. Let's pop that off of there. There's that. I got another one of those out of the junkyard. We'll see if that one fits better than the one I have. All right, we got the intake boot off. And sure enough, it is filthy in there. I'm gonna show you with a flashlight. All right, there's a bad picture of it, but it's pretty dirty right there on the edges. And I think that's what's causing it to stick. So we're gonna go ahead and clean the edges of that, that throttle body. Okay, I went ahead and took the air box off so I could get you guys a better picture of what I'm doing. Uh, I think you can see in there, okay. All right, so I'm gonna take some carb cleaner and I'm gonna spray it in there. All right, and I have a I have a pair of old shorts. I'm going to rub it to get it in there nice and good. You're gonna clean it. Don't be afraid. Don't you you don't want to bend anything, uh, but you do want to get in there and actually scrub it with with something. Okay, that's that initial clean. All right, so the outside is clean, but that's not what's that's not what's sticking typically. What's sticking is usually the edge of that of that butterfly. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wet our our thing. We're gonna clean it with. Right now I'm wetting it, and this stuff evaporates real quick. So what I'm doing is I'm going to. There we go. I can't get rid of my light. I have to clean the edge of that butterfly, and then I'm gonna clean inside that lip, right there where that where that butterfly seats and I can feel a ridge I can feel a ridge of debris and dirt in there I'm gonna keep doing that now it doesn't have to be perfect all right but you do want to get most of the stuff that's causing it to stick you want to get most of that off so rub your hand around it you, like again you don't want to bend anything so be kind of careful uh, a lot of this is done by feel because you, you're not going to be able to see what you're doing in there all right now to get the other side of that butterfly, I haven't gotten the other side. I've gotten the near side and I've gotten the uh, where it seats. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fit my finger way down in there and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it kind of slow. I'm gonna feel the other side of that butterfly and I'm just gonna go right around it with my finger. I'm gonna go on the bottom and I fit my finger in there again and I'm gonna go on top. I'm doing that right here. This should be good for a while. 
and it shouldn't stick anymore. It should make a nice tight seal when it needs to. And that's gonna tell the computer, that's gonna tell the computer to maintain idle at the right, at the right uh, idle speed. Okay. All right, so let's put it all back together. Uh, I ended up taking the top of the air box off. I'll show you how to put all that back on. All right, let's put everything back together. If you take your air box off, make sure, make sure that you remember to reconnect that, that vacuum hose. All right, I got, I got uh, debris on my little screen. No problem, no problem. All right, reseat that. Actually, you know what, before I reseat that, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, because it's just easier. Okay, here we go. Seat it nice. Okay, you're gonna want to get your secondary air box. I guess that's what you call that thing. Get that in there. Right. Kind of get everything in there loosely. That's what I've done. Make sure you don't poke a hole in your air filter. You're maneuvering everything in. Get it all lined up because I'm not worried about these two hoses right here. They'll go on easy later on. What I'm really worried about is this secondary air box, making sure I got a good tight fit in that. I did have to modify that one. All right, get that tightened by hand right here. And we're gonna go ahead and tighten this one. Actually, you know what? Click these in. So everything is pretty much lined up. Go ahead and click these in, all four of them. Nice. Get that around that. See, it fights me. It's, it's kind of old. I probably need a new one. But you want a real tight fit on all this stuff because you don't want any vacuum leaks. Because if you do have any vacuum leaks, what it's going to do is it's going to tell this mass airflow sensor and it's going to tell the ma uh, ma manifold air pressure sensor that you're uh, you're receiving too much air and it's going to be a lean condition. It's going to try to put fuel in there and you don't want that. You need, you need everything running the right way. All right, we're tightening everything up. I want that one kind of tight. I want this one kind of tight. That's good. Next, let's go ahead and put these two on. These two little guys. All right, nice and satisfactory little click there. Sorry to bump the camera. All right, nice. <clears throat> Get that, get that hose clamp seated just right there where it was. And last thing, or one of the last things, is this um, mass airflow sensor connector. Careful with it, click it until, it until it makes that click. And last thing we never, we never did is this one right here. Get that nice and tight. We got a good sure we got a good connection on all that all right so there it is uh we're gonna go ahead and drive it to work tomorrow and see if it see if it behaves the same way it's been behaving so usually when it usually what happened when it was cold start is it would stay at like 2000 rpms and it wouldn't go back down and now i think what's going to happen is it's going to go back down and if this doesn't fix the problem we're going to locate the um the uh it's called the the idle air control valve we're going to try to find that one or iacv and see if we can clean that one out but anyway uh hope you like this video i hope it helped some people out on how to how to change out your 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 intake boot uh clean your throttle body uh disconnect and reconnect any of this stuff i mean it's it's all part of the package if you like this stuff 
uh, go ahead and jump on board, subscribe to my channel, and I, I make these kind of videos all the time. We'll see you next time on I Just Fix It Myself. Mm -hmm.